Hello everyone, how you're doing? It's Michelle here. Um, oh my god, look at that. Let me just sort my hair out. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's better. Like I've got something flying off the side of my head there. Um, I have done some knitting. I mean, I was going to show you yesterday. Oh, sorry, I've got a backache. Um, so I've decided I wanted some new pillowcases. <clears throat> and I've been looking at a lot and they're all like knitted. There's loads of knitted pillowcases now. So I've made this. I've done it in moss stitch. I mean, it's gonna, just going to be an accent pillowcase. What just goes on the... Put it out in autumn, I think. Um, and just because my living room's like brown and cream. Well, beige and cream. So... Yeah, so I thought that would look nice. It is this wool. The lovely Sandra and Peter got me this wool. It's an Aran. It's so, so soft. It's beautiful. It really is. It's more like a cotton. It's so soft. It's so nice. Um, so, yeah, I've knit, that's what I've knitted. So the, And then I'll just put, like, a border on it, some crochet, a border on it. Um, I can do that much with crochet. But, yeah, so and then I use the eyelash wool tinsel wool whatever you want to call it i call it tinsel um i think it's a bit rougher this tinsel wool than what the eyelash wool is um so yeah that's what i've made up to yeah oh excuse me oh i don't I'll go to work in a minute oh, god i could drop off to sleep so yeah that's it so i'm just gonna knit one of these and then another one for it back and then just sew or yeah just do that and then put a flap over on one of them like make it extra longer just to flap it over and um put some buttons on and fasten it that way just to make like an accent an accent one either at put this out at christmas or autumn i think they're more or less like an autumn through to christmas type cushion it'll take me that long to finish it as well so that's one of my whips at the minute. The other one is this, because I thought, all right, start getting some hats. And I've got hats on my Etsy store, like beanies. But Sheila were on about, um, like, traditional hats. And I like traditional hats as well. Um, traditional bonnets on babies. So I mean, I've made this as a traditional. So here it is. So it's got the little pico there and it's got the pico up there and it's got the bobbles so obviously it just it's hard to see because obviously i'm ugh. but you would put it together sort of like that um let's say it's for a newborn so it's gray it's like a silver gray and at the minute i'm picking up the um stitches the pico stitches now you can either do it how i do it this is how i do it i put i mean it's hard to see so the stitch can you see it the stitches down there because i've done it in a contrast it's a lot easier to see um but then you pick up the the white one there um the white stitch so i do that i go down if i can see it right oh gosh i've got these glasses on here this first time yeah so i go down like that and i put my needle in and i pick up the white stitch like so i transfer it onto that needle and i knit them both knit the one you've just picked up and the one on the needle next to it knit it together and that brings your edging your pico edging down or you can do it, a lot of people do it like this. It's a little bit more difficult when you've got straight needles. But you actually put your, um, this needle straight into the stitch, which is, uh, I want to pick a grey one up. Do you know what, I've got to go and get my eyes done, you know. So yeah, it's there. Is that it? Nope, that's grey. Do you know what, Michelle? You need to go to the opticians, Michelle. So it's there. So you put your put your needle in, 
like that you just pick it up that way and again knit them together but she says and knit them together and then it makes your pico edging um but yeah so that's what it looks like and then from that side that's what it looks like all the way across so that's my other whip so it's nearly finished now once i've done this i think you just knit the knit the back um and then that's it you uh, the cr not the back the crown the back of the head i was going to say the crown and you decrease to it makes the crown the round bit on the back of that and then it's finished and i just thought do you know what i'm just going to do a traditional this traditional pattern is from years ago when my niece was my niece how old's my niece she's 34 something like that for it. yeah maybe 34 33 um yeah so it i had it for her i made it for her and then all the girls all the nieces what were born after that i've used the same pattern as well it's a bit worse for wear at the minute um do you know if that's work i'm not even there yet and it's ugh, it's kids going off <laughs> um but yeah, hang on, I'll just fetch it and then you'll be able to. So this is the pattern, as you can see. That's the bonnet. <laughs> it's a bit worse for wear, isn't it? So, um, but it's, I can follow it and I'm, you know, but it says it's 0 to 11 months, 1 to 2, 3 to 6 and 7 to 10. But I don't think it fits, fits them ages up to that and they won't want 7 to 10 year old nowadays. Can you imagine? Or even a three to six, maybe up to two years old, but not after that, not nowadays. But yeah, that's how it looks. It's very hard to. It's very hard to see because it's so damaged. Um, but it's donkey's years old. And there's the. The pattern there, but um, I'm just trying to see if the date, but. I'm, I know when it when I got it because I got um I could say I did it for my knees. But yeah, but it knits up perfectly well. I can see it still. It looks a mess on the front but all the instructions on the back are um clear. But yeah, that's where it's come from. But that's what I'm knitting for her. I've just took loose a walk. She's come back, she's gone flat out. Um and then Oh, I've got to go to work. I'm on 8 o'clock. It's 25 to 8. So I better... I better get ready and start making my way in. Roadworks have gone now, so that's not too bad. I'm just looking at weather and all. I've got... Just put news on it. I very rarely put news on because I just... I think, oh, I can't stand it. Too, it's either much, too much doom and gloom or too much stupidity on it. So I don't bother putting it on. Um... And it said it was going to be nice today. I thought, yeah, it would be. I'm back at work. So uh, I couldn't have... I wanted the whole week off, but I couldn't because there's too many off to, uh, today. And then Ellie's off. Ellie was already off in my room on Friday. And so I couldn't have Friday off either. It would have been nice to like have the whole week off, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. And she said, how busy it were yesterday. She said, it were horrendous. I said, great. She thought, have you missed being at work? I went, no. I've not. I've not. I could, people say, oh, you'd be, you'd be bored if you were home or dead. No, I wouldn't. I've got to that stage in my life and I just think, I won't be bored. I love my house. I love my home. I'm very much a home bird. And just, you know, just potching around my garden and doing my knitting and going to walk with a dog and speaking to people in the village you know just having a little walk around that's that's me that's what i like to do and as you can see it's nearly i've nearly done i might just quickly finish this before i go back to work uh, back to work before i go to work um and then and then it's done isn't it and i can just crack on with rest on it when i get home tonight 
So that's everything. Don't forget to like and subs subscribe. Get that out ready. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh God, this is going to be a great. Andy for walking to say saw that woman who I saw yesterday at hospital. Oh my God, that parent. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and have a wonderful day. Speak to you soon. Bye.